Hey everyone, Mike here with Prehistoric Magazine. Welcome back to another video. Now, I've wanted to make this video for quite some time. And like a lot of videos that you're going to see on this channel, there are no easy answers. There's no real easy way to look back and test something. So again, as is the most important thing with all these videos, your comments at the end are what I appreciate the most or what I look forward to seeing the most. Not necessarily the views or the likes, but I look forward to seeing the engagements that we have at the end of this video. So I hope once you're done watching this, you'll take the time to leave a comment and chime in with your thoughts on this. But how bad or how stinky do we think sauropods would have been? Now, if you think about modern day animals like elephants or hippos, you know, I've spent a bunch of time at zoos with hippos. And I can't say that I've been right next to them, but I've been within 25 to 40 feet, you know, behind an enclosure safe. And, you know, they definitely have a musty smell. There's definitely a smell of the type of food they eat, the poo they have, the gases they emit. So right off the bat, I'm thinking that sauropods with their colossal size must have been very smelly animals. Now, how smelly? I think that's difficult to tell. And in doing some research for this video and in asking around on Twitter and online, people, even paleontologists, kind of just give you the runaround that, sure, you know, they must have smelled bad. Now, if we think about hippos, you know, the modern day hippo, it weighs in at around 4,000 pounds. It is an extremely impressive animal, and the speeds that they can run at are truly terrifying. If you've ever seen a hippo run, again, a 4,000 pound animal, it is a fraction of the size of some of the sauropods that we are talking about. And hippos themselves are known to be tremendously gassy animals. In fact, I'm gonna link the longest fart in the world down in the comment section, just if you haven't seen it. It was by a hippo and it's got 42 million views. I'm going to put it down in the comments section. So if you haven't seen it and doing a bit of research for this, this is some of the research that I did. I'm going to link that down in the comments section for you all to watch. But nonetheless, hippos are supposed to be extremely gassy animals. And it has to do with all, obviously all the plants that they eat, all the grasses that they eat, and the fact that the food is sitting in their stomach, the fermentation process, and there's nowhere for the food to go. You know, the gases are going to emit. So hence, they're going to have a lot of loud gas. I believe sauropods must have been the same thing. You know, we're talking about a 4,000 pound hippo being tremendously gassy. And think about a 50 ton sauropod or even think about a 20 ton sauropod, 25 ton sauropod. Let's think about real conservatively. 25 ton sauropod is still vastly bigger than even an elephant. Two and a half, maybe three times bigger than an elephant and many multiples bigger than a hippo. So they must have been tremendously gassy animals. And now I don't want to get too philosophical on this, but it's also possible to take the route that if you were a giant sauropod, you really didn't smell much at all because who could get next to you? Who could get near you? Now, obviously, we know that sauropods congregated in herds and probably moved in herds and possibly live social lives like that. So to other sauropods, they would have been big, stinky animals. But who knows? Maybe the other sauropods would have been used to those smells, you know, being in a type of herd, almost like a matriarch, like we see in elephants in Africa. So, but the point I'm getting at is if you're a 50-ton sauropod and you're 40, 50 feet tall and you're 100 feet long, not many animals can even get close enough to you to even smell the gases that you're emitting, which there no doubt did. Now, back in 2012, there was an article written that said sauropods farted so much they contributed to warming of the climate and greenhouse gases. Now, I believe that that article is obviously not true, but they must have been tremendously gassy animals just on how much they had to eat, how much they had to eat to keep themselves going, to sustain their great weights. When the food is sitting in their massive bellies, it only makes sense that it's going to be emitted somehow through gases and there's just going to be a lot of fermenting food and gas is going to be the byproduct of that so from where i'm standing from that makes sense but um, again i'm not trying to get too philosophical but i'm just trying to take the standpoint that perhaps they wasn't smelly animals at all because how could something get next to it and get close enough to even acknowledge how smelly the animal was you know think about yourself a lot of times if i eat a lot of ice cream i get too much gas probably there's too much information for you but it happens and I'll be by myself at that time. Obviously my family, nobody wants to be around me. So I really don't smell at all because no one's even there to acknowledge it. So that's kind of what I'm getting at with the sauropods that they were so big 
that not a lot of animals would have been able to get near them without risking life or injury. So, you know, you think about a theropod trying to attack a sauropod. That's probably not the time that the sauropod is going to be gassy. It's going to be in escape mode. It's either going to be in attack mode and that theropod is going to have its mind set on either flesh grazing or trying to take the animal down. So I don't really think there'd be much of acknowledgement on smelly, gassy animals. But nonetheless, it is believable to think that sauropods must have farted tremendously just due to the amount of food that they would have eaten to sustain themselves. Again, if we look to hippos and elephants, they are both very gassy animals because of the amount of food that they need to keep going. You know, you're an elephant, you weigh seven or eight tons, you have to eat a tremendous amount. You're a hippo weighing two tons, you still have to eat a tremendous amount to keep your body going, to keep alive. So sauropods were on another level that we've never seen as land animals. And I can only imagine just how gassy they would have been. Now, again, if we go back to that natural body odor, you know, elephants do have a natural kind of, I don't know if you want to call it stench, but it's kind of a musty odor. And a lot of times I think to myself, the bigger the animal, possibly the bigger the stench. So again, the most important part of this video is your comments. How do you think sauropods smell? Were they just awfully horrific smelling animals? gassy and just they would truly be disgusting to be around love to hear your thoughts and comments on this in the comment section down below see you in the next video take care